Hi, welcome to Holy Habitus. My name is Phil and you are most welcome. Today we're in the one year Bible reading plan again and uh, it's April the 18th, so Proverbs 13, 11. That's what I'd like to look at today. I haven't done a proverb yet, but it's a great little uh, li uh, one-liner, an axiom, which says, wealth from get rich quick schemes quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows over time. Now I like this because it's a practical piece of advice isn't it, in one sense. And the Proverbs writer might have been speaking to people who are trying to earn some material wealth. He says if you get rich quick, actually you, that wealth quickly disappears. And we know that to be true, don't we? There's practical wisdom. Um, we're obsessed sometimes in our society with lotteries and jackpots and we want to get rich quick. Um, but actually we read the stories in our newspapers also of how people who have um, won big, have got a fortune, millions of pounds, um, suddenly become depressed or alienated or they squander and lose their wealth and become millions of pounds in debt ironically or, or end up bankrupt because they, they didn't have the requisite skills to know how to manage or use that wealth in the first place and uh, and it's a bit like that phrase that they use in America about shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves in three generations that the first generation works really hard climbs a ladder builds up a massive fortune and sustains it but it's lost within two or three generations because the subsequent generations don't have uh, that those skills, that, that capacity or even virtue to be able to sustain or use that wealth wisely or invest wisely because they didn't go through that formative ladder climbing experience that that first generation did. So it's, it's an interesting practical piece of, 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 of wisdom isn't it? But the question I'm interested in is, is does it have a spiritual application because we're not called to be obsessed with wealth and we saw that in our, the Zacchaeus story from today's passage. Um, we're called to be interested in the spiritual wealth of the kingdom. And sometimes, perhaps as Christians, we're interested in get-rich-quick schemes in a kingdom sense. We want to have a sudden download of God's power. We want to be immediately and simultaneously healed of some bad habit or be given some gift or um, change the world or become a spiritual giant. Uh, but we don't really want to do the hard work that's, that's required in order to get there. Or as churches we pray for revival, not really thinking do we have the infrastructure of faithfulness and wisdom and humility to be able to contain such a, a raw download of power from on high. And actually we should be praying, Holy Spirit, don't just give us power, give us uh, the virtues of Christ, grow us in Christ's likeness so that we may, having been faithful in small things, be entrusted with greater things. And that's a, a quotation from another reading today from Luke 19. We want to be uh, have the containers for grace and, and not be sieves of what God wants to pour out in our lives. It's a challenge this week. Uh, what micro skills of faith, what virtues um, does God want to build us and so that we can be people who are able to receive, enjoy, but share the grace of God and the power of God in and through our lives.